Okay, so item number three. So I have made so basically same as previous one. The ceramic fuse glued into the body and wire passed through it. <coughs> Hope that doesn't leak. We will see soon. As separator, I'm going to use this contraption. I have made some slits there on the perimeter, and these are to basically pass current. Even though, even though, well, not sure how that work will work, and it will go onto so like this. And my idea is that maybe this will get coated with hydroxide, so this will be probably electrically connected, but. It won't be a very strong connection and and the next thing is that again I want to see if I can get sodium to go past something so it would basically free fall somewhere and if that happens it would probably happen from here so not sure in order for this to work I have uh, about this much height of uh, sodium that I can have, which should be more than enough if I feel if I feel this cell a lot. And at this point, normally I would add new hydroxide because this is drop that could already be you know, like ejected from the cell. To add some sodium, oopsie, oopsie, that this is not good. This is not good. I did not want to. Fuck. Now I don't understand at all. Oh, I see what's happening. The cell is leaking. Anyway, I think I will let it leak. Because at some point it must seal itself up. Okay, fine. So you can see that the sodium level is quite high. What's happening is that it's bubbling so much that it is jumping all around the place. So that's not really that great. And also... It is starting to jump so much that it will... So I can do this. And yeah, so this will probably work. Okay, fine. And now I have to get some aluminium foil. Okay. Yep, this would probably work.
Okay, let me do one more thing. Change the angle. Yep. That works. Okay, now... Yeah, so so when I when I was saying that this cell is leaking and it sealed it itself, it looks like this. Yep. What a mess.